my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings uh the love monthly readings or the middle of the month love readings for all of the zodiac signs uh, this is going to be the new and the old so uh for those of you guys that are interested i will be going live tonight on tiktok at 6 p.m california time so if you guys are interested in joining our live you guys are welcome uh to join for those of you guys that are wanting uh we are giving a special uh, one question reading on our TikTok uh, for $20. As you guys can see here, this is our Vimo and our PayPal. So if you guys are interested, uh, when you guys make the $20 payment, go ahead and send on the note the question that you have. Um, before we go live, I will contact you uh, so that you can give me your personal information. So without further ado, let's get into the reading. This is going to be for all Zodiac signs, your love life. We're going to start off here with Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Aries? Hopefully you guys are doing well. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Spirits, what are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to their love life? We're going to begin first with the new love. How do they see Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they see Aries? Here we go. The first card is the King of Pentacles. So they see you a little bit reserved, a little bit stubborn. Um, but they also see uh, the virtues that you have or that you possess. They definitely see you as uh, someone that has potential for something long term. Let's see. How do they feel about Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How does Aries person see Aries? Or how do they feel about them? How do they feel about them? Okay, here we go. We have the Two of Swords. So... King of Pentacles and Two of Swords, a little bit of, like I said, a uh, feeling of being a little bit um, standoffish, a little bit distant, uh, perhaps not really being able to put their finger on you, <laughs> metaphorically speaking. <laughs> I see it a bit of a challenge. There is a challenge here. Could be that you are, um, on one aspect, you could be, you know, very present, very interested and then all of a sudden you kind of back off or you kind of give them the cold shoulder so there is a little bit of confusion going on right there let's see what are the future actions towards aries sun moon rising venus future actions towards aries future actions towards aries i feel like they see that your temperament or your personality is a bit of a challenge aries and their future actions is the world card so for some of you guys, I feel like there are they are definitely looking at you, looking at your social media, seeing what's up or what you're doing. Um, but I feel like they don't really want to put as much effort. And it could be because they feel like you are not putting effort or they're feeling like you're very detached, uh, emotionally unavailable. Um, with the world card, I feel like there is a cycle here that is ending. Uh, so for some of you guys, I don't see any future actions, meaning I don't see them taking the initiative. So it may take um, it may take for you to actually put a little bit more effort in this connection, Aries. Um, now, keep in mind, this could be them. This could be them being a little bit distant and uh, being very reserved and you feeling like, you know, they're not really giving you the attention you would hope for or you would want. So again, I do feel that there is a need to put a little bit more effort in this connection, okay? All right, now we're gonna go with your old love, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's look into their old love. How do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? Spirits, what are the messages here? How do they feel about Aries, the old love? How, does they, how do they feel? Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. So uh, there is a bit of reservations here, feelings, um, a bit of, I don't want to say animosity, but I do feel like they are feeling a bit hurt, perhaps a bit um, on the defensive side. So I'm not sure how things ended between you guys, but there is definitely some type of defensiveness here on their part. Let's see, why do they feel this way about Aries? Why do they feel this way about Aries? Why do they feel this way about Aries? Okay, here we go. The full card. So they are definitely feeling like perhaps you took advantage of them. Perhaps you let them astray. There is a feeling of I was duped or a feeling of um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of like leading them astray. They, they feel like you let them on. Um, perhaps some of you guys were dealing with, uh, you know, emotional unavailability. Um, perhaps it was very difficult for you to bring your guard down. And they feel like, in essence, um, perhaps they don't understand your perspective or where you're coming from, Aries. I don't feel that you were coming from a place of malice. I feel like you were just very guarded. For some of you guys, it could be because, obviously, uh, past experiences or past relationships or even this relationship. Uh, the moment they felt like they were willing to put some type of effort, um, they felt like you were not being completely transparent. For some of you guys, you could have... Uh, given a second opportunity to a past love while being in connection with someone else. And I feel like when you started seeing those red flags, um, you decided to choose the new path or the new connection. So they're feeling a little bit hurt, a little bit defensive because of that, feeling like you had options and you knew about it, yet you let them to feel like you were willing to give them an opportunity. But I feel like it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't from a place of malice, perhaps, They've just let you down multiple times in the past. Um, let's see. What is the future actions of the past love for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Future actions. Here we go. Queen of Wands here. So I feel like there is some type of communication that may happen or that may open up. But I feel that they're going to be standing in their pride or in their ego. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that... Um, for some of you guys, it could be that you, uh, when they open up to you, there is this feeling of competition. So it could be that you are currently in a relationship or in a connection, or it could be that you find out that they are dealing with someone else. So there is a feeling of like, I am not going to put myself in a situation of having to uh, choose or having or being in a situation where you're uh, where they're putting you. Uh, almost like having to choose. Um, so I, I, I see you guys uh, taking the initiative to move on past this. Um, and the reason I say that is because I do have here the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is an indication of the need to move on, the need to walk away from this and go to cal calmer waters or to heal um, for a lot of you guys, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some insight. Now let's go to Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Spirit guides, ancestors, what are the messages for Taurus? Let's look into their new love. How do they see Taurus? Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus. How do they see Taurus? How do they see them? Spirits, give us clarity. How are you doing, Taurus? Hope you're doing amazing, my lovelies. All right, here we go. How do they see you? They see you as the Eight of Cups. So there is a feeling of disconnection. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone. Um, and you could have walked away or you could have created some type of distance there. Um, I feel like they are, they're feeling like you have options regardless if, if you do or you don't, regardless if you're entertaining other people or not. There is a feeling of, um, because the eight of, or the cups are standing out a lot to me and they're behind the woman. So it indicates to me, um, like there's options around you. Uh, even though the woman is not really acknowledging them. So regardless if you see options or not, they're seeing it as you're aware that you have options. So there may be a bit of challenging energy here. I feel like they could be in their feelings or they could be acting acting out um, and you can't really put your finger on it. You can't really understand why. The reality is there may be some jealousy or insecurity issues there. Let's see. How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? What is their emotions? How do they feel about Taurus? All right, here we go. They have the Sun card. So yeah, they're definitely emotionally invested in this connection. They see you as a blessing. They see you as something worthwhile and worth fighting for. Um, and again, the Sun is almost an indication of uh, a person that is very blessed in regards to your energy, Taurus, they see you as, you know, if you walk in a room, you get attention, you are standing out and standing out perhaps more than usual. So it, it, the sun is always, it always centers, right? Because it is the, obviously the sun. And what does the sun do? It outshines everything and everyone. So I feel like there is a bit of, 
there is a bit of confusion here in regards to their emotions for you, but it has nothing to do with you. I think it has more to do internally because the moon is standing out very much. Um, so I feel like they are kind of in a situation where they're trying to figure out if they would be able to uh, pursue this connection um, and if they would be able to maintain this connection knowing that you either get a lot of attention or there's something about you that just stands out very much so and people acknowledge that and I feel like this person may be lacking a bit of insecurity or uh, perhaps it's a person that um, uh, comes off as very prideful, very like uh, they, they got it like that type of energy, but in reality, they do feel a bit intimidated by your energy here, Taurus. What are their future actions towards Taurus? What is the future actions towards Taurus here? Oh, we have the star card. Okay. Thank you, spirit. So the star card is an indication of planets and the stars aligning in this connection. This could also be the alignment that they need. I feel like they're a bit off. Again, confidence issues is what's triggering this connection right now. But I do see them taking action. I do see them having or coming to the realization that uh, there is a reason and a purpose why you guys have came together. I feel like you're going to be teaching this connection a lot of things about themselves and vice versa because we have the sun and the stars uh, or the star uh, which is an indication of the universe of destiny of uh, destiny's aligning or crossing paths because there is a purpose i see both of you guys in this connection walking away from things you should have walked away from a while ago so again it's almost like a mirroring type of energy where they're going to bring out the best in you and you're going to bring out the best in them just be patient taurus um because I do feel like this person may be uh, having to work through some shadow work in regards to their feeling of um, their lack of feeling of confidence or their lack of feeling of worthiness. Um, and this could be uh, vice versa. It is a general reading. But I am feeling strongly like both of you guys are going to be bringing out the best in each other and helping each other heal on a subconscious level, even though you're not aware of it. Okay, beautiful energy here. All right, now let's go to Taurus old love. Let's see what's going on there in regards to their old love spirits. What are the messages for Taurus in regards to their old flame? How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus at this point in time? Here we go. We have the two of wands. So there's definitely missing. They're thinking about you, Taurus. Uh, they're wanting to contact is what I'm hearing. There is a feeling of how do i do it how to and, and more than anything i feel they're struggling with how to communicate how, how to open communication so it could be that they are literally there sitting thinking about what excuse to make in regards to contact because i feel like pride is a little bit in the way i don't feel like they're going to be reaching out in the open like hey i miss you i feel like they are plotting how they're going to be reaching out to you okay let's see why do they feel this way about Taurus? Why do they feel this way about Taurus? Let's see. Why do they feel this way about Taurus? All right. And we have the Hermit. They feel this way because you've been very silent, Taurus, or you've been very much trying to heal, um, or you've been, I'm hearing like you've been making them feel like they never existed so for some of you guys you are purposely ignoring them for others of you there is the true desire of healing and removing yourself from this connection um so they see you ex extremely silent perhaps maybe in the past you would text them or they would randomly text you and you would respond perhaps in the past or in the recent past there could have been some type of communication and you refused or you didn't acknowledge their message. So there is doubt there. Um, is Taurus, you know, being with someone else? Uh, why are they being secretive? Um, why are they being quiet type of energy? And what's standing out to me is the wands and the wand that the hermit is carrying here. So it, it's going towards the three of wands indicating to me um they're hoping that it would be you the one to reach out. So perhaps for some of you guys in the past, you were used to being the one to reach out. You were the one used to trying to make it work. Um, and I feel like this is striking them as something out of character for you, which is leading them to believe like you're moving on. 
or like there's other things going on in your life. Um, but I do see them, you know, in regards to how or why do they feel that way is because they feel like you've, you know, fallen off the map pretty much. Um, yeah, because I'm sensing like them trying to look at what you're doing or what you're up to. Um, and I feel like there's crickets or I'm hearing like there's crickets. Uh, so there is definitely a desire there to reach out to, um, they're trying to plot uh, how to open up communi communication with you. All right, what is their future actions towards Taurus? Future actions towards Taurus. What is their future actions towards Taurus? Let's see. We have the Four of Cups. So yeah, I don't see any future actions. I don't see them doing any type of movement. I feel like they are being in their wallowing and pettiness of, yeah, I miss Taurus. I want to communicate. I want to reach out, but they're not doing that, so I'm not going to do it either. Uh, there is this feeling of comfortness in in their sadness or in their pettiness or in their feeling of you know um unhappiness um but i don't see them taking action or anything like that so don't expect any type of communication for this month taurus all right now let's go to gemini let's see what's going on with gemini gemini how are you doing hope you guys are doing amazing okay let's go what are the messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to their new love? How do they see Gemini's? How do they see Gemini's? How are they being viewed at this point in time? All right, here we go. We have the Four of Pentacles. So they see you a bit reserved. A little bit stingy with your attention or affection. Trying to figure out... Um, trying to figure out how, how, how to possess the key to your heart. Uh, it's standing out very much to me, as you guys can see there, the key in her lap, on her lap. But the pentacles, right, protecting, shield. So they're trying to figure out how to win you over, Gemini. How do they feel about Gemini? What's their feelings for Gemini? Speak to me about their emotions. How do they feel about Gemini? All right, here we go. Two of Swords. They're unsure about what they're feeling. I'm going to be honest. I'm hearing they're not good with rejection. So I feel that because you're becoming a challenge to them, they're trying to, they're, they're debating whether they should continue um, or, per, or push through this connection or if they should keep it moving. Um, this is a person that is, again, I'm hearing they're not used to rejection. I feel like you're a challenge to them, Gemini. And this is not necessarily a good thing for them because this is a person that perhaps is used to getting what they want or is used to not really trying when it comes to relationships. What is their future actions towards Gemini? What is their future actions towards Gemini? What is their future actions towards Gemini? Okay, here we go. We have the Queen of Swords. So their future actions towards you is, yes, there will be communication, but I feel the communication is going to be very cold very detached, non-emotional. I feel like they're going to be to the needy greedy, meaning if you message them, hey, they're going to message you back, hey. They're not going to like carry the conversation. They're not going to put effort in maintaining the conversation. They want you to prove to them um, if you're interested or not. Again, I feel that it's coming more from what they're used to. They're used to not putting a lot of effort. And I am really... I would usually tell you like open up, communicate, but I feel like you're doing it for the good reasons, Gemini, like good reasoning behind you trying to have them prove to you or show you through actions that they are interested. So I feel like you're not coming from a like from a petty place. I feel like you're doing it because you're guarded and you're protecting yourself and I don't like their energy in regards to um uh, expecting you to be the one to pick up, you know, and, and carry or maintain the connection. So the advice here is stay on your throne, my lovelies. Let them put effort. Um, like I said, I feel like it's not coming from a bad place. However, if you are doing it from a prideful place, stop playing games, Gemini, because I feel that if that is the case, this is a person that is not going to be fucking around, basically. Um, so they're not into mind games. 
However, if you're not doing mind games and you genuinely want them to show you or prove to you, then like I said, sit on your throne, let them put effort. And if they don't, then let it be that. Okay. All right. Now let's go to your old flame or your old love. Let's see. Okay. Old love for Gemini. Old flame. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini at this point in time? How do they feel about Gemini? Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, in regards to how they're feeling, I feel like they are at the point of accepting that it didn't work out. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is really enjoying their singlehood. It's really enjoying uh, the fact that perhaps uh, there was a lot of toxicity in this connection um, or a lot of challenges in the relationship where it became more of a challenge. Like, you know how in every relationship... Um, no relationship is perfect. And I don't care what anyone tells you, like they're full of shit. Because if everything is perfect, then that means that uh, both of you guys are very similar. And if you're similar, sometimes that's a good thing, but not necessarily. Because when it comes to relationships, as time progresses, we have to go through certain obstacles together to strengthen the relationship. So with the Nine of Pentacles, the, how they're viewing, or I should say how they feel about you, they feel like at this point it was the best thing that could have happened meaning the separation or um the breakup um because they are enjoying their singlehood so yeah let's see why do they feel why do they feel this way about gemini why do they feel this way about gemini why do they feel this way about gemini okay we have the two of pentacles so for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone that even was or that was with you in a relationship, but was acting single. Or for others of you, you could have felt like this was a very challenging relationship or the last uh, time frame being in the relationship. It was very challenging, but the reason was because they were unsure of this relationship or they were unsure of you, Gemini. Again, I am hearing two timing, so it could have been a situation where even if you guys were in a relationship, the person was acting sig signal, uh, signal, <laughs> was acting single um, because I, you know, two of pentacles does represent the need for balance, but it also indicates double dealing. So yeah, not necessarily a good thing. Let's see. What is their future actions towards Gemini? What is their future actions towards Gemini? Future actions towards Gemini. Six uh, swords. Yeah, it's time to keep it pushing, Gemini. I feel like it's just a waste of time if you continue holding on to this connection. I feel like the person wasn't completely honest or transparent with you. Um, they weren't giving you the respect or they weren't giving you the integrity that you were looking for in that relationship. Um, and I see them honestly moving on. So again, the advice, don't hold on to something that doesn't want to be held. Um even if you could, some people often feel like if I love them harder or if I do more for them or if I put more effort, you know, loving someone harder is not going to make them appreciate you. And that's just a fact. If a person genuinely cares for you, they're going to be patient if you're not the type to show love very easily. Now, imagine if you were the type to show love very easily, they would be relishing in that. So if by you thinking you, by you trying harder, it's going to make them appreciate and not take you for granted or put more effort. Like it's not going to do anything because a person that you're giving advice to is not going to take the advice and is going to go in through one year and out the other if they're just not ready for that type of wisdom. So it's the same thing with this connection, okay? So keep it pushing, Gemini. Don't waste your beautiful time. All right, let's go now with Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. By the way, you guys, I am at home and I have a family here. So if you guys hear um, a loud noise, that's the door. We have a huge fucking door. Um, so just ignore that. <laughs> it just means that uh, some are getting here. Anyways, all right. Who are we with? Cancer. Okay. Cancer, let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you doing, Cancer? Hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are not going crazy right now. I know you guys are being challenged astrologically. All right, let's see their new love. 
how does um how does their new love see cancers how are they being seen right now at this point in time how does their partner see them We have the Seven of Cups. Oh no. Let me get clarity before I start speaking. All right. How do they feel about cancer? How do they feel about cancer? How do they feel about cancer? All right, you guys, I'm still shuffling, but what I'm gonna tell you is what I'm getting is don't let people make you feel like you're an option, okay? If you're dealing with someone new, and initially in the beginning it was awesome it was off the chain all of a sudden there's stagnation or they take forever to contact you or they take forever hours or days to text you back um and they continuously make you feel like like you're an option or like other things come before you um and they claim that it's like they have to prioritize or like all oh, work is a priority for me right now etc they're bullshitting you, don't make them feel like you're an option, okay? How do they feel about Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Here we go. Ace of Cups. So Ace of Cups is a representation of how they feel about you is they are genuinely interested. Um, when I say genuinely interested, they are interested or could have been interested at some point in time. But it is an ace and the aces always represent the beginning stages. So for some of you guys, it could have been like you felt like they were really like uh, love bombing you in the beginning. They were like texting you 24 seven. You guys were texting nonstop, calling each other nonstop, that type of thing, right? The beginning stages of when you guys are into this getting to know each other stage. If something has transpired or something has changed, don't think that it's, you know, uh, could be that they're going through something it could be no what it is is that they are waving other options weighing other options i should say sorry um i see them like yeah they're interested in you there is definitely a connection there but i feel like they may not be ready for this type of connection right now um only because the six of cups is here and the six of uh, sorry the seven of cups is a representation of options it is also a representation of the illusion of love so when i say illusion of love it, like i said love bombing this is a person that it, you know within a matter of weeks they're telling you they love you they can't stop thinking of you da, da 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 and they haven't really gotten to know you like that um red flag because uh it takes a while for a person to re a person that is healthy uh and ready to love is going to take a while to get to know and to create that bond um so again, just be mindful of that, all right? What is their future actions towards cancer? What is their future actions towards cancer? Future actions towards cancer. The strength card. All right, so off the bat, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to be honest with you, keep it 100, cancer. I feel like this person is has a tendency of love bombing, has a tendency of overdoing initially in the beginning. And the reason why they do that is because they want you to have this idea of who they are, right? And once they start to show who they really are, um, they'll go like, they'll go ghosting you or they'll start treating you a certain way where you're thinking or wondering like, this cannot be who they are because this is how, what this isn't how they were. So it, it, in a way, it's kind of like, it's almost like a form of manipulation. Um because they have a tendency, like I said, to show themselves wearing a mask. And then once their true nature starts to come out, you hold on to the idea of who they were initially, hoping that that person will come come out again. And what they're telling me here with the strength card is that um, the future actions is, you know, the desire, the lust, or the wanting to continue the physical connection without actually giving you some type of commitment or some type of stability. So if you're looking for casual, then fine. If you're not, stop wasting your time with this person. All right, now let's look into your old flame. Spirits, what are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to their old love, old flame? How do they feel about Cancers? How do they feel about Cancer? We have this, uh, sorry, Five of Swords, okay? Ego, Pride, 
they never want to be wrong. They're seeing you um, as a person that is toxic or a person that is combative. Someone that, you know, someone they can't change. And they see that as a challenge and a struggle in regards to this connection. Why do they see uh, cancers this way? Why do they see cancers this way? Ten of Swords. Did you break up with them, Cancer? <laughs> I feel like for some of you guys, um, this relationship could have ended very toxic or very like aggressive or like very not amicable. Um, they're in their feelings about this connection or this separation or breakup. It's like they put all the blame on you, Cancer, and they feel um, like, or I should say, I feel like there's a lot of animosity in this connection. So it could have been a situation that, like I said, didn't end amicable. I feel like there is a lot of emotion behind the anger that they're holding on to. What is their future actions towards cancer? What is their future actions towards cancer? King of Wands. Yeah, so their future actions is to continuously keep being the aggressor in this situation. Um, so when I say aggressor, it's almost like I see them being petty. I see people, like, if people ask them about you, they try the best they can to portray you in the worst light possible. Um, and it's like they do it on purpose so that that can get back to you. Don't let this get the best of you and get a reaction out of you because that's exactly what they're wanting. Um, they clearly have a lot of healing that they need to do and they refuse to do so. Um, they see you as the one that either gave up on the relationship and you know what? I'm getting narcissistic tendencies or energy. So you could have been dealing with someone that was, you know, totally not putting effort in the relationship. However, in their mind, they've, you know, imagined or made it seem like you were you were the one that walked away you were the one that gave up um and they just can't forgive you for that or they're not ready to let go of that anger and i feel that it will come out in the aspect of how they express themselves about you so my advice ignore them they're trying to get attention um so if you hear sometime in this month of august rumors about what they're saying or don't get a reaction, you know, don't give them a reaction, sorry. Um, I feel that they're doing this on purpose to see if you're still emotionally invested in the connection, okay? All right, now let's go with Leos. How are you, Leo? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Happy birthday for all of you Leos out there. All right, let's look at your new love. How do they see you? Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. How does Leo's person see them? Seven of Swords. Whoa, what happened? Um, yeah, they're definitely seeing you like you're hiding something or like you're not being very honest. You're not very straightforward. Let's get clarity. How do they feel about Leos? How do they feel about Leo? Speak to me about their emotions. How do they feel about Leo? Two of Wands. So... They, de they did see potential in this connection. They did see like, uh, let's see where it goes. Let's see where it leads. However, the two of wands is looking towards the seven of swords. So it's like, they feel like you're not honest or they feel like there's something that you're hiding. For some of you guys, it could be that you're still, like you just started dealing with this new person, but still dealing or still in communication with someone from your past. For others of you, it could be that you're trying to put yourself out there, um, but still holding on to something that you haven't healed from. And it's coming off as them sensing like you're just not being honest. I think this is kind of similar to your last reading from last month. Um, there's almost like this feeling of wanting to know what it is that you're hiding. I feel like you're not hiding anything. I feel like for some of you guys, it's just that you just haven't healed or you haven't moved on from someone from your past. Let's see. 
What is their future actions? What is their future actions towards Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What is their future actions? The Magician. So, this is interesting. Okay, so I'm getting two different messages for some of you guys. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like they feel like you're being sneaky or like you're not being completely honest. It's almost the situation of uh, sensing kind of like, um, yeah, I'm only talking to you. I'm only dealing with you. But in reality, they feel like you're giving attention somewhere else or like you have options um, because the magician is here and the magician is having all of the elements or having uh, everything at your disposal uh, in regards to, you know, the the manifestation when it ta when we talk about relationships and partnerships. What it is, is that I feel like you're, they see you extremely confident and that leads them to believe that you're very flirtatious um, or that you would be open to entertaining other people. But at the same time, while they're judging you, I feel like they're not being honest in regards to them entertaining other people as well. And the reason why they're entertaining other people is because they're intimidated that you may leave them or that you may decide not to continue this connection because you're going to choose someone else. I hope that makes sense. Um, and again, it's coming from a place of insecurities. It's coming from a place of uh, them just not dealing or not used to someone that is very confident. Even if you're not confident, Leo, even if you're like one of the few that would be like, well, I'm not that confident. Um, I'm not that out there like that. It doesn't necessarily mean that uh, for some of you guys. It's just an energy that you vibe to where you come off as very uh, like very independent, very like confident in yourself and your abilities. Um, and I feel like that's really intimidating to them. Um, and I feel like they are entertaining or open to connect to other connections because they fear that you're going to be the one to leave them. I hope that clarifies. Okay. Let's see. Let's look into your old love or old flame. How do they feel about Leo at this point in time? How are they feeling about Leo at this point in time? Oh, okay. We have the Nine of Swords. So they feel stuck. They feel like, um, for some of you guys, it could have been a situation where you treated them you treated them like they were not used to. For good or bad, I feel like this person didn't appreciate what you did for them or the connection or the type of love you gave them. And I feel like right now they feel stuck. There is frustration because what's standing out to me here is the dove at the very side. There is a dove there which represents purity, innocence, love, right? And... With the Nine of Swords, it's like they're in their head about this connection. For some, it could be that they are regretful about how things ended or how things came to a conclusion. Why do they feel this way about Leo? Why do they feel this way about Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay. Four of Cups. Because they feel like they missed an opportunity. They know they fucked up. That's what it is. And it is regret that they're dealing with. What is their future actions towards Leo? What is their future actions towards Leo? Future actions towards Leo. Six of Wands. So the future actions is definitely taking action towards you. Coming towards you or communicating or trying to open communication with you. Why? Because they still have love for you. They feel like you were perhaps the best thing that ever happened to them. Uh, they are regretful. They are feeling like a complete asshole. Um, because at this point in time, they've come to the realization that they didn't appreciate you or that they didn't treat you the way you deserved to be treated, uh, Leo. And I do see them taking action towards you or trying to open communication. Um, there is definitely, uh, for some of you guys, it could be communication through social media or a text. Um, I don't feel like it's a call. It's more so like in a very speedy way to communicate, which would indicate internet, social media, or text. All right. Well, that's what they get, right? <laughs> All right. Now let's go with the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's look at their new love, new connection. How do they see Virgos? 
How do they see Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they see them? Judgment. They have to make a decision about you. Let's see. How do they feel about Virgo? Speak to me about their emotions. How do they feel about Virgo? High Priestess. They definitely have feelings towards you, Virgo, but I feel like they keep them very, very close to them. <laughs> very close to them. I feel like they are hiding their emotions or not wanting to reveal how they truly feel um, in regards to this connection. What is their future actions towards Virgo? Future actions towards Virgo. Future actions towards Virgo. The hanged man. I don't see them taking action. And you know what? For some of you guys, what I'm hearing is... Uh, those of you guys that are recently single, I feel like there is someone around you. This could be a friend or someone that is connected to your inner circle or social circle uh, that has grown feelings for you. And I feel like they are debating whether they should come forth, um, whether they should acknowledge and open up to you about their feelings. Um, judgment is the, 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 having the need to make a decision or getting to the point of making a decision and speaking out or speaking up their truth. The high priestess is keeping it secret, not revealing it just yet. And the hanged man, a representation of sacrifice or a representation of not wanting to change their perspective at this point in time. I feel that they're holding on to fear. So for some of you guys, it is someone that is around you that is wanting to reveal their feelings. However, I feel that they choose to keep it silent because there is other people involved or this could affect other people involved. Um, for some of you guys, it could even be that you are currently dealing with someone new. Um, and when you started dealing with this new person, it could have been that it arose new feelings for the person that is around you. This could be a friend. Like I said, someone around you or your uh, social circle. So it's almost like seeing things from a different perspective. Perhaps they were confused about your feeling or their feelings for you. You started seeing someone or you started expressing interest in someone and they started dealing with emotions that were coming up. So um, for some of you guys, it could be a person revealing to you their feelings. For others, it could be a friend that recently came to the understanding that they do have feelings for you. Um, but they're not really wanting to open up just yet. All right, now let's look into your old love. Old love for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Virgo at this point in time? How do they feel about Virgo at this point in time? Okay. The Emperor card. Oof, okay. So how do they feel about you? They're definitely feeling a... A lot of passion, a lot of desire is still there, um, but also stubbornness. So I feel like for the majority of you, they see you as a challenge. They see you as, you know, there's still passion there, but I feel like it has more to do with the physical aspect of it rather than emotional aspect. And when they put that in a balance, I feel like they feel that it's not worth putting more effort in this connection only because it's a challenge for them or you are a challenge. Um, let's see. Oof, I dropped a card. Give me one second, you guys. Okay, let's see. Why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way about Virgo? Seven of Pentacles, yeah. So, like I said, I feel like passion and desire is still there, but it's more having to do with the physicality of the connection rather than emotionally. And I feel like they're feeling at this point that you're not going to change and they're not going to change, so why revisit the situation? Although... I see them being tempted to revisit. We do have the Seven of Pentacles here. Um, if anything, I feel like the only the only thing that they would revisit would be the physical connection. I'm going to be honest. What is their future actions towards Virgo? What is their future actions towards Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're not they're not taking any action towards it. They're not they've came to the realization that it's a lot of work. Uh a lot of work and a lot of effort to make this relationship work and at this point they're just not ready to do that all right my love lace okay now let's go to libra let's see what's going on with libra sun moon rising venus if you guys like these videos definitely like comment share our videos don't forget to subscribe all right libra sun moon rising venus let's look into your new love how do they see you how do they see Libra? Knight of Cups, they definitely have interest here. Definitely uh, wanting to see how deep the water is. <laughs> All right, how do they feel about Libra? How do they feel about Libra? The Hanged Man, okay. They're unsure. They're unsure about what they're feeling for you, Libra. There's definitely... They see you, obviously, as a very beautiful person. There is physical connection here. Um, there is just something that really they admire about you. Um, but when it comes to how they're feeling about you at this point in time, I feel like they're unsure about their feelings. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with someone that hasn't emotionally moved on from an ex-partner or someone from the past. What is their future actions towards Libra? Future actions towards Libra. Future actions towards Libra. The Magician. So I feel like they're still trying to go through this energy of, am I ready to connect? Am I ready to get emotionally invested in a relationship? Am I point blank ready to be in a relationship? And I feel that that's what they're debating right now. It doesn't really have anything to do with you, Libra. It just has to do with the fact that they're holding on to some type of emotion or connection from the past. But with their future actions being the magician, I feel like they're coming to that realization that they're over or that they've been over that person from the past and it's time to move on. So I do see them putting effort and energy towards uh, pursuing this connection in the near future. All right. All right, let's see. Let's look into Libra's old flame. Your old flame, exes. People from your past, all right. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Libra at this point in time? How do they feel about Libra? Knight of Pentacles. It's taken them a while to move on. It's difficult. Um, I feel like they're still holding on to some type of hope. Why do they feel this way about Libra? Why do they feel this way about Libra? Two of Cups because they still have emotions for you. They're still emotionally invested in this connection. They haven't moved on. They're willing to put the effort, but I feel like for some of you guys, I'm hearing I'm waiting for a sign. I'm waiting for a message. Um, so not sure how this connection ended for you, Libra, but what I am sensing is that I feel like you guys could have been on two different paths or perhaps it was a feeling of the universe pulling you guys towards different directions could have been life lessons that you guys needed to go through the knight of pentacles does indicate the desire to continue on the journey or to revisit uh because they are holding on to that pentacle they are holding on to that hope to that value of the connection and the reason why they feel this way is because they still have emotions for you they're still emotionally invested in this connection what is their future actions towards Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? And we have the Ace of Swords. So for some of you guys, communication will be opening up. You will be receiving a message or the sign you've been, um, the sign they've been hoping for. They may receive that. And I think that this is what pushes them. Um, what's standing out to me a lot is the energy, the vibra vibrational energy around the sword which indicates to me the forces, right? The forces of the universe, the universe conspiring, 
uh, the energies of the spirits pulling you guys together or pushing you guys to make that communication, that conversation, that message come through. So I feel like sometime in the end of August, beginning of September, there is definitely going to be some type of revelation. So it could be revelation that comes to you. For some of you guys, it could be that you hear a message from a friend, a loved one, someone that gives you some type of insight in regards to your ex-partner. Or it could be that your ex-partner receives some type of sign that they've been asking for and that's what gives them the courage to come through and communicate with you. All right. Okay, now let's go to Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. How are you doing, Scorpio? Hope you're doing amazing. <sighs> Hope you're keeping your emotions on check. <laughs> One of the signs that has been struggling emotionally, astrologically anyways. All right, let's look into your new love. How do they see you? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does Scorpio's person see them? The magician. Manifestations here. I feel like for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that recently uh, started dealing with someone or there was a recent connection, I feel like both of you guys could have potentially manifested each other. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? The chariot? Yeah, definitely major arcanas here. I feel like Destiny's taking a toll right now or lending their hand what is their future actions towards scorpio future actions towards scorpio the three of swords wow okay was not expecting that you guys all right so with the magician and the chariot i feel like you guys have potentially manifested each other there was some type of manifestation some type of hope of coming together uh or meeting the person um the person that you've been trying to manifest or that you've wanted to materialize in this earthly plane right to come towards you and to connect emotionally with the chariot card here though um i feel like for some of you guys it could have been a manifestation that came in too quick and in that quickness for a lot of you guys that are still healing from past trauma or past relationships I feel like there's going to be that obstacle of having to overcome what you've experienced in the past and to not hold on to that or to not allow your past to affect your current or present relationships. I feel like in this connection, what's really going to be triggered is past trauma. Um, and this is on both aspects. So this could be you. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with. Uh, as an example, it's a mirroring energy. So as an example, for some of you guys, those of you guys that perhaps in the past have had issues in relationships in regards to jealousy or possessiveness, I feel like you're going to be dealing with this partner that is going to be very jealous and very possessive. And it has a lot to do, again, with because it's almost like you guys are sharing similar experiences that you're allowing your fears to take the best of or take the best out of it you're i'm trying to express it as easily as possible um like both your experiences from past relationships are so similar that it's almost like they're taking on your energy and you're taking on your previous relationships energies if they were the ones to be like, why are you so jealous? Why are you so possessive? I feel like that's you taking that energy and the partner is the one that's taking on your energy. But again, it's coming from unhealed versions and parts of yourselves. So this could either heal each other and strengthen each other, or this could be almost a disservice to yourself because it's like you both have manifested each other but you guys weren't ready and in the not being ready you're going to potentially push each other to the limit where it's not going to go anywhere if you cannot rise above this all right i hope that makes sense all right now let's get let's look into your whoops let's look into your old 
flame, old relationship. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? Okay, before I get into that, um, they're just asking me to clarify for those of you guys that I did the, the new love. Um, so the way to clarify it is the connection that you're dealing with right now has a lot of similar experiences with previous relationships as you do. And it's going to bring out the best in you and teach you that it's necessary to heal certain things to be able to vibrate from the same frequency and to rise above it. For a lot of you that are not willing to put in the effort and the work, either you or the partner that you're dealing with, it's going to bring out the worst in you. And then it's like taking 10 steps back. So my advice for those of you guys that are dealing with the new connection is to when you're feeling like there's a lot of obstacles or like you guys are being challenged i challenge you to ask yourself what is it about what's triggering you in that connection that resonates very much to previous relationships and if you find yourself to be very much in the other side meaning taking on characteristics or traits about previous partners that would judge you of certain things, then this is just validation that it is a mirroring effect and you guys need to rise above that and learn communication. I feel that that's one of your challenges. Um, it's not holding on to the anger. It's not holding on to what they've done in, or, or where they've messed up and counting down like, oh, this is strike one, strike two. It's about communicating. And if you're able to rise above that, it's going to strengthen the connection and actually make it stronger. If you don't, I feel like you're backtracking to, like like I said, taking 10 steps back and it's not going to go anywhere. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Now let's go to old love, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? Ace of Cups, still connecting, still holding on to that emotion. Why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way about Scorpio? Why do they feel this way about Scorpio? Oh, we got cards flipping out. Five of Wands. Okay, so I feel like your old love or old flame perhaps has recently found out or has recently came to the understanding that perhaps you're dealing with someone new or perhaps you've moved on. Um, and that rose emotions that they had very suppressed. And the reason why they're reacting this way is because there's jealousy involved or the feeling like, how can they move on so quickly? It's kind of like when there is a breakup or separation and they're very prideful, right? And they stay in their feelings and they don't try to contact you. They don't try to reach out. And the moment you are seen going out or dealing with other people or just living your best life or acting single... It's like all of a sudden they want you, right? They want the unattainable. And that's what it is. That's the energy I'm sensing here. What is their future actions towards Scorpio? Future actions towards Scorpio. Six of Wands. Okay, so they are definitely... We go from the Five of Wands to the Six of Wands. So the Five of Wands is, again, willing to start communication through arguments. So it's kind of like... Your ex reaching out or texting you like, I guess you never cared about me or um, I guess you moved on already. It's just petty arguments, even though you're not together. But the reason why they're doing that is because they're still hoping that you're going to respond and that you're still open to communication with them. I do see them reaching out to you. I do see them uh, wanting to communicate, wanting to see if we can revisit this connection and the reason for it is because, again, they want the unattainable. Now that you're dealing with someone new or now that you've moved on or for some of you guys, now that you're posting certain things on social media that they're not liking, uh, they're wanting to be able to tell you what to do. So the advice in this situation, if there is communication that happens, remember to hold on to your pride and your integrity. Um, don't allow them to play mind games. Don't allow them to make you feel... Uh, like you still owe them loyalty because if there is a breakup or a separation, you owe no one, no loyalty, um, especially if it was them, the one that walked away from this connection, okay? All right. 
Now let's go to Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sagis. How are you doing, Sagittarius? Hope you're doing awesome. Let's look into your new love. Let's see what's going on there. Oh. <laughs> How they see you. Nine of Cups. They see you as wish fulfillment. They see you as everything I ever wanted. All right. All right. How do they feel about Sagittarius? Let's see. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about Sagittarius? King of Wands. They are definitely a strong, very powerful physical connection. For some of you guys, it could have been uh, when you met this person, it was like you guys just couldn't stop smiling at each other. Uh, a lot of physical, a lot of chemistry is what I'm sensing. Um, and they are definitely... They definitely came um, or this connection happened right at a pivotal moment in your life. Perhaps there was some type of separation for some of you guys. It could have been that you were coming out of a toxic situation uh, when this person came about. I feel like it had a lot to do with destiny for some of you guys. For others of you, it was just that point in time where you were just ready. Mentally, physically, and emotionally ready to move on. Um, and again, like I said, there's tons of chemistry here, you guys. What is their future actions? Future actions towards Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Future actions. What is the future actions? Future actions here, the Moon card. Okay. <laughs> so with future actions, the Moon card, um, definitely speaking about having that depthness, right? Getting to the point of really getting to know each other and i feel like both of you guys are holding on to certain fears um there's almost like this feeling of having the need to portray yourself a certain way or put yourself in the best light um because of this connection it, it's a very strong powerful connection and it's almost like you're trying the best you can to prove your not to yourself but to prove to them um that you're worth it or that you are everything they hoped for it's kind of like when they put you in this pedestal and and then the pressure of having to meet that uh becomes so much that you kind of start to change your personality or your style or something about you uh to that that tries to accommodate them what spirit is telling you here in this connection try the best you can not to lose yourself in that in that fantasy in that uh i want to be everything that they always hoped for or vice versa don't put a lot of pressure on them because you've idealized them or put them on this pedestal no one is perfect is basically what they're saying keep it real and keep it 100 so that you can maintain this connection for some of you guys it could have been a situation where you're feeling a bit confused about this. There is something that is very connected to confusion. So again, if you are coming out of a relationship, as an example, you meet this person, the chemistry is off the chain, then things start to get a little bit difficult or a little bit of like roadblocks that you start to deal with. And the person from your past that starts to come around, you may feel inclined to want to give the opportunity to the person from the past because there is a bit of confusion. It's like, oh, I'm right at the, the pivotal moment of this, but my ex is acting so perfect and they are like willing and, and doing everything they can to get me back, but they had something they've never done in the past. So this could put you in a position of feeling confused. And what they're basically telling you is see past the illusion of it and be present in this connection. All right, now let's see old love let's see what's going on here with old love for sagittarius sun moon rising venus how do they feel about you how do they feel about you sagittarius eight of cups so there is definitely a feeling of walking away or feeling like you've walked away like you've moved on why do they feel this way about sagittarius why do they feel this way about sagittarius why do they feel this way about sagittarius Justice card, okay, balance, um, karma for some. Interesting, what is their future actions towards Sagittarius? Future actions towards Sagittarius. The Hierophant, okay. 
So for some of you guys, this could have been a ex-partner, someone that you were married to or someone that you were living with or that were in a very long-term relationship. Um, how they feel about you, they feel like you walked away. They feel like you gave up on this relationship. Um, the way they're feeling or the reason why they feel this way is the justice card. They feel like you treated them unfairly or unjustly. Uh, there is a list of feeling of not really appreciating. Now, this is their perspective. Um, for some of you guys, it could have been that you were dealing with someone that had very high ideals, uh, a person that was very, maybe came off as extremely judgmental. Um, with the Hierophant, I feel like it has a lot to do with their upbringing or a lot to do with how they were raised. Uh, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone that had uh, religion um, or spirituality very important in their life or lack thereof uh, that their lifestyle or their way of seeing things was very, very different than the way you see things or the way you were raised. So there is a lot of fundamental um, beliefs and a lot of fundamental uh differences here in this connection that had a lot to do with beliefs or other people around the connection could be parents could be you know their family that were very much involved in the connection and vice versa it could have been your family that got too involved um however they do see that there is almost like especially for those of you guys that were married i feel like this person feels that you left them that you walked away um, but they still see you as like belonging to them. They still see you as like, I'm going to hold on to hope that there something is going to happen where it's going to bring us back together. Let me see what the bottom card is here. Yeah, exactly what I just said. It's almost the feeling like even though we've been broken up, even though for some of you guys, even if you've been broken up with this person for like 10 years, they still see you as the wife or the husband. They still see you as like you belong to me and at some point something's going to happen where there's going to be some type of reconciliation here. Um, they haven't moved on is what I'm hearing very strongly. So if this is something that you were hoping to hear, then I would definitely say, you know, shoot your shot. <laughs> if it's not, it's kind of giving me freaky vibes because it's giving me this vibe of them seeing you as an object that belongs to them. So do that with what you will okay now let's go to capricorn let's see what's going on with capricorn sun moon rising venus capricorn sun moon rising venus let's look into your new love how do they see you capricorn how do they see you oof we got two cards okay we're gonna stick to them we have the knight of wands and the full card a lot of passion a lot of intensity here uh, definitely desire, lust, the full card. Uh, seeing you as something that is worth pursuing. They're excited about this connection. They are definitely putting the effort, to say the least. Knight is always, the Knight of Wands is always going above and beyond because they're very intense, very passionate. How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? The Justice card. All right. So they definitely see you as wife or husband material. They are definitely putting the effort because they see the value in you. Um, and there's also the, the desire or the want. They feel like they are exactly the type that you need to balance yourself out or to balance who you are type of energy. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Libra, you may be dealing with an Aquarius, you may be dealing with fire, energy, Taurus, Leo, sorry, not Taurus, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy here. What is their future actions? Future actions towards Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Future actions towards Capricorn, Six of Wands. They're definitely coming in strong, Capricorn. There is very passionate, very intense type of energy and connection here. They're definitely wanting to see how far this can go. 
uh, they're viewing it as not something passive. Uh, night and full usually indicates to me very intense, passionate, but usually intense and passionate usually runs out very quick. But because we have the justice right at the center, they are definitely worth, um, not worth, sorry. They're definitely seeing it as worth uh, pursuing and seeing how far they can go, meaning um, this has potential for something long term. With the Six of Wands, is celebratory. This is hopefulness. This is going strong. Uh, this is a person that is definitely used to getting what they want, and they're going to go above and beyond to prove to you that they want you and that they're going to show you they want you in their lives. So awesome energy here, Capricorn. Now let's see. Let's look into your old love. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Cappies, the star card? Okay. Definitely seeing you as the best thing that ever happened to them. Why do they feel this way about Capricorns? Why do they feel this way about Capricorns? Why do they feel this way about Capricorn? Ten of Cups. Whoa. Future actions. Future actions. Future actions. Ten of Wands. Okay. So I feel like your person from the past is definitely constantly reminiscing, thinking that the time that they spent with you was the best time or that you were, in fact, the best thing that ever happened to them. Um, why they feel this way, the Ten of Cups, they've never experienced the type of love that you've given them or they never experienced uh, really being able to being able to know without a doubt that their partner was the type of partner to hold them down and to do whatever they had to do to be right. You know what I mean? Like uh, perhaps with, you know, with actions basically is what I'm hearing. With actions, you showed them that you were there, that you held them down, that you've given them perhaps the most stability that they've ever experienced, that they've never experienced in other relationships. However, their future actions with the Ten of Wands, they feel burdened. They feel like um, they're holding on to a lot of heaviness, a lot of heaviness of regret. Um, but I don't see them taking action towards you. I don't see them like actually communicating or wanting to communicate. Um, it's more to do with the regrets that they're carrying. Like when they look back, they've realized, you know, their wrongdoings or like that was the biggest fuck up was losing Capricorn. But I don't see them really owning up to it and trying to get a different outcome. So I don't see any type of communication happening, okay? All right, now let's go to Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. How are you doing, Aquarius? All right, let's look into your new love. How do they see you? How do they see you? All right, we have the Knight of Wands, passion, intensity, physical uh, desire, physical connection here. How do they feel? How do they feel about Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius? The Hermit, okay. <laughs> They're reserved, they are not sure how strong their feelings are for you. What is their future actions towards Aquarius? Future actions towards Aquarius. Future actions, the world card. All right. So I feel like they are debating. They're very much in their head. They're trying to figure out if they're willing and ready uh, for something serious. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you may be dealing with someone that recently came out of a relationship and they're just looking for something that is casual. Um, with the hermit though, it, it's almost like be mindful or be careful if the person out loud tells you, right? Like is completely honest and tells you, hey, you know what? I'm not looking for anything serious. Believe them Aquarius because what they're saying here is they may not be ready. Um, and if they're telling you that, it means that they're just coming out of a cycle. They're just concluding a cycle. They're not emotionally in the space to connect or to even be open to connection. I see it more as a physical aspect. So 
Um, my advice is don't get that emotionally invested because I feel like they themselves are not ready uh, to get themselves in a connection or in a relationship, I should say. All right, now let's look into your old love Aquarius. Let's see what's going on there. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Here we go. The Empress. Amazing energy. They definitely still feel love towards you. They feel like you were very nurturing and very patient with them. Why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way about Aquarius? Why do they feel this way? For some of you guys, you could have children with them. Ten of Swords. There was an ending. Obviously, there was an ending that happened here. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, uh, children could be involved. For others of you, I feel like they understand that... You were very nurturing and very patient with them. Um, someone could have ended this connection very abruptly. For some of you guys, it could have been a situation where they walked away uh, and come to find out that they were being with someone else. For others of you, it could have been very, like I said, very abrupt separation or breakup where there wasn't, it, it's almost giving me a sense of like coming out of left field. So it was kind of like, this is not working out when you thought things were going not necessarily great, but that they were good. Um, so there is this feeling of I could have done or I could have approached this situation very differently. Um, let's see, what is their future actions? Future actions towards Aquarius. Future actions towards Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Future actions, Nine of Swords. No movement, no communication. I feel like they're very much in their head about how things ended and the fact that they realize that um, you were good to them. It's almost like, yeah, they were good to me. Um, I just didn't appreciate it. I just didn't deserve it. But it's like being very unapologetic about it. So I feel like this person is not necessarily, um, they're not necessarily taking self-responsibility for what they did or lacked in the relationship i feel like it has more to do with oh the timing was just off which perhaps it was perhaps they weren't ready perhaps you weren't ready perhaps both of you guys were still emotionally immature um but there's almost this like denial of acknowledgement that they had something to do with why it didn't work out <laughs> it's almost like um like, yeah, you know, Aquarius was really good to me. Um, you know, they they loved me. They gave me unconditional love. But it's like they dusted off, like, not really acknowledging, like I said, um, the wrongdoings that they had or that they did in the relationship. So, no actions in that. No communication from them. All right, now let's go to Pisces. Last but not least, my lovely Pisces, how are you doing? All right, let's look into your new love. How do they see you? How do they see you? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they see you? Oh, sorry. Six of Swords, okay. Going towards calmer waters, uh, wanting to stabilize this connection. For some of you guys, could have been challenging in the very beginning. Okay. How do they feel about Pisces? Speak to me about their emotions. How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces? Nine of Swords. Okay. Was not expecting that. So there is a desire to want to move forward or a desire to stabilize the connection. Um, how they feel about you, Nine of Swords. I feel like they're very much in their head about this connection. Uh, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with the person that has very heavy uh, depression or anxiety. For some of you guys, it's difficult to communicate in this connection because 
the moment that they feel like the moment you try to express yourself they feel like personally attacked and they completely shut down um because this person one doesn't like confrontation and two they may suffer like i said from anxiety or some type of depression here what is their future actions towards pisces sun moon rising venus what is their future actions towards pisces The Knight of Swords. So I feel like communication will continue, although it could be very potentially defensive or being very defensive um, in the way they express themselves. I feel like they're not really putting effort into expressing their emotions. It has more to do with uh, the everyday type of thing. Um, what I am sensing in this connection, Pisces, is that it's going to be very challenging uh, because they lack the ability to fully express emotions. Uh, this is a person that whenever, like I said, whenever they feel like uh, they're being attacked, they take it every they take everything personal, like too personal. That when they feel attacked or they feel like they're being criticized, they become like they go into their shell and it, it's difficult for them to express. And you're over here thinking like, well, I can't read your fucking mind. Um, and that's where the frustration comes from. So I feel like you guys are going to be very challenged because your way of expressing is very different. I feel like you're going to grow impatient and they will grow impatient of you as well. So good luck with that, Pisces. All right, now let's look into your old love, old flame. Let's see what's going on with your ex-person. Holly, oh crap, okay, too many. I'm going to put them back. Okay, old love. How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces at this point in time? How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces at this point in time? Page of Swords. They're definitely stalking you. They're definitely looking at your socials. Why do they feel this way about Pisces? Why do they feel this way about Pisces? Do they feel this way about Pisces? Ace of Cups, still holding on to emotions, still emotionally invested. They have not moved on from you, Pisces. What is their future actions towards Pisces? Future actions towards Pisces. Future actions towards Pisces. Five of Swords. So I don't see... All right, so what they're showing me here is they're definitely looking at your socials. They're definitely asking or wanting to know what's going on in your life. Um why they feel this way is because they still have emotions they still have feelings for you but i feel that it comes out in a very aggressive way um so it could be like uh you know when friends or people around them ask them about your what happened in the relationship they may have a tendency of like putting you in a bad light and the reason for that is because they feel um like that the like the relationship or how things ended was not necessarily how they would have wanted the relationship to end. Um, so there is almost this ego that they're holding on to. Um, and they may show animosity. So again, um, it's kind of like the ex that will text you randomly and be like, you know, you little, you know what, um, you piece of shit type of thing. Or you never loved me, you never cared for me type of vibe. Um, and the reason why they're being hurtful with their words in reality is because they still love you. They still have feelings for you. So it's kind of like the little kid, right? When you're in school, when you're in kinder and your mom tells you the reason why they're hitting you is because they're crushing on you. That's the type of energy I'm sensing. So I feel like it's very immature type of energy. So there is definitely still feelings of, you know, love. But at the same time, it's like, I'm going to be mean-spirited with you just to hurt your feelings just because I still care for you and I'm not mature enough to express that. Um, so that's the type of energy I'm sensing there. My advice, block them. <laughs> no one deserves to be disrespected regardless of however things ended. Anyways, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment. Don't forget to let me know if you guys enjoy these readings. I will continue to do them this way. Wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.